I want to spend some more time discovering the power that's available with the Boss LS2 or any other pedal that allows you to mix two separate channels in parallel. In the past, I've tried this in the context of overdrive and distortion, but this week I want to play around with modulation. Let's see if I can use my existing pedals and this effect together to make a one-of-a-kind chorus. So what are the ingredients to build your own chorus? Well, in addition to something like the Boss LS2, you also need two sounds, two core sounds to create chorus. The first is a dry signal. It doesn't have to be clean necessarily, though a lot of chorus is used on clean guitar. And then the second thing you need is a vibrato effect, pitch vibrato, not to be confused with the vibrato that you sometimes see on old Fender amps. I'm going to use the vibrato setting on this EHX Mod 11. Okay, I've got an array of pedals set out, but I want to start by proving the premise that a combination of dry signal plus pitch vibrato equals chorus. In the A channel of the line selector, that's this yellow patch cable. It's going, as you can see, from one side to the other. That's carrying just the clean signal of my guitar. The B channel is where the magic's at. This green is going through the Mod 11 on a pitch vibrato setting. It's also going through this other stuff that I'm going to talk about later, right back into the return for the B side. Here's what it sounds like if I play just the dry sound. <laughs> Here's what happens when I add in a little bit of channel B. Sounds like chorus, right? But kind of like your typical chorus, the kind of chorus you could buy off the shelf at any guitar center. What if you wanted a unique, one-of-a-kind chorus sound? Well, the advantage is that you don't have to put just one pedal in one channel of this line selector. You can string as many things together as your power supplies will allow. So I've added two additional pedals to the string. I've put a Nobles ODR-1 overdrive and a little Joyo delay with kind of a short-ish delay setting, almost slapbacky. Uh, let's see what happens as we add and subtract those effects. I don't know about that last sound, but overall, I enjoyed that experiment. It is fun to sort of DIY your own chorus, and then you really can add a lot of versatility. And I, I just tried two effects, and I didn't even twiddle the knobs too much. If you put a little bit more time and energy into refining your BYOC, build your own chorus sound, I think you could get something that was really interesting, and you could probably use it in a way that's far more creative than I'm going to use it, which is just in the making of this video. If you like this, click like and subscribe for more content that's like it. If you know of other exciting and creative ways to use the LS2 or another line selectory pedal, I'd really be interested. I found that, to my surprise in a way, this utility pedal has inspired more creativity than probably any other effect in my arsenal. It probably says something about the guitar pedal market in general, or maybe just about the labyrinth of my own mind. In either case, if you feel the same, let me know. As always, I appreciate your time and I'll see you around.